Hello, this tutorial is not a real tutorial, it's an exploration and an appreciation. I will show you the complexity of motion capture data in order to help you appreciate character animators works because character animation by hand is so extremely complex and uh, I will make a tutorial about just uh, planting a foot properly uh, in uh, just a couple of days uh, which sounds so trivial but it is not and if you want to get uh, a really convincing animation as we see it in Pixar movies for example The Incredibles etc uh, there's a lot of mixture between motion capture data and uh, hand delivered uh, character animation and uh, it's it's a very complex thing uh, so let's go to Windows General Editors Content Browser and in the content browser you have um, under animation motion capture data for example um, a cat a cartwheel for example uh, and uh, here you have male and female let's go to female and Amelia I've never tried them out really they are only skeletons they don't have uh, skin with them attached if you don't find these things here just uh, go uh, on YouTube just search uh, for how to get the motion capture data into Maya there's uh, a few tutorials about this uh, even uh, I think in my channel why is the creature not here well it's so large let's press a so the uh, so the uh, character is right here and what we'll do now is um, we'll uh, open this section here and you see um, sections further down and you can keep opening one after another but let's just stick to the uh, hips here and now you all of a sudden see the keyframes appear they are being delivered they were delivered by a, an actually dancing character captured via sensors and this uh, the data were implanted into Maya and probably cleaned up a little bit but still we have one keyframe per key so that's a massive amount of keyframes let's have a look at the at the what the hip does we selected the hip that's this joint here and it does quite an interesting job doesn't it it moves around all the time it not only moves it rotates as well so let's just have a look at the rotation in Y that's the up axis that is basically when uh, the rotation when we look at the character from the top so it does a lot of rotational work in Y how do we check this out how do we see how the hips are rotating in this circular motion here well go to Windows and animation editors and check out the graph editor because it shows us what this selected object does in the animation and uh, I think this already looks quite interesting here now we were looking for the rotation in Y which sits here and you see the complexity of that rotation here we can flatten this out if you if we like we select them all here you see the tangents uh, and I just delete these things and leave them here at the beginning and at the, at the end I get a character animation which is still pretty convincing but I changed certain things with the hips here and you see already that there's a problem and the problem is the sliding motion the feet now start to slide around because they have to do with the hips and the hips uh, help the feet to be planted on the floor so that sliding motion is a typical problem in early character animations in 3D because the early character animation animators did not know that we need to plant our foot and uh, uh, it's a the walking and dancing is like a falling and stabilization motion one after the other and you have to have a stabilizing foot all, basically all the time so if we undo this by pressing Z you see that now the feet are planted
So the hips are very delicate. Um, let's check out the this arm here. Graph editor. And it shows us this. And uh, let's just have a look at it's just a shoulder bone. It's not the arm, really. It's just the shoulder joint, really, here. So this, for example, is the rotation in X, which is basically around that circle here. And uh, this is the rotation in Y, and this is the rotation in Z. How could you ever create these curves in by hand for a character animation? You couldn't. So that's why the professional character animators rely on motion capture data. They clean them out and they modify them. And from a certain degree of expertise, they don't need the motion capture data anymore. They do this by hand. They have a feeling about these curves and they probably say we need even more ups and downs here to make a more jiggly motion of that character when he is getting anxious or whatever. And I'll show you briefly how to delete all the animation channels here. Let's go to a pose which we kind of find neutral. For example, this one. If we like this pose and like to continue from here, we just uh, select this keyframe here or go to this um, uh, point in the timeline and then we go to edit and to delete all by type and we delete all by type channels. That's the animation channels. So if you want to get rid of all animation in a scene, use this command. If you want to just delete the channels for the for the shoulder in this case, uh, you go here, here, delete by type, channels, but we delete the whole animation now. The, the keyframes are gone and now you can start working with this skeleton. Good luck. Bye bye.